There's an old saying, if you want something, pursue it relentlessly and never give up. While this mindset is widely embraced and easily grasped, it also brings with it an often overlooked pressure that we impose on ourselves. The philosophy of Stoicism, an ancient school of thought, offers a different perspective. Not everything in life needs to be controlled or forced. Consider the moments when you've tried to manage every aspect of your life to achieve a specific goal. You might have invested all your energy, pouring your heart and soul into a job or a relationship, only to realize that the more effort you put in, the more complicated and chaotic things became. These setbacks don't just drain you physically, they also breed deep-seated feelings of insecurity and disappointment. But this doesn't mean you're not capable or worthy. Sometimes, it's simply a matter of trying too hard to bend life to our will, forgetting that life by its nature is like a flowing river. Living without forcing things is challenging, especially in a world that constantly demands and imposes standards of success and happiness. However, by embracing the principles of Stoicism, you'll find that life becomes lighter and more meaningful when you let go of the need to control everything. Allow me to share with you 10 methods to achieve this so you can live a more peaceful and fulfilling life. These methods will not only help you reduce stress and anxiety, but also allow you to discover joy and satisfaction in each moment. Before we dive into the video, I have a small challenge for you. Watch the video to the end, don't miss a single part, and then apply what you've learned to your life. A week later, return here and share the changes you've experienced. Leave a comment with, go with the flow below, so I know you've accepted the challenge and are ready to delve into the profound wisdom of Stoic philosophy. Get ready because your journey of life discovery starts now. Number one, live fully in the present. In Stoic philosophy, living fully in the present is a core principle that guides us toward peace and happiness. Marcus Aurelius, one of the most revered Stoic philosophers, once said, do not act as if you were going to live 10,000 years. Death hangs over you. While you live, while it is in your power, be good. This quote serves as a powerful reminder that our time is limited and precious and only the present moment is truly within our control. To live fully in the present means to immerse yourself entirely in what is happening right now, allowing yourself to feel and experience each moment deeply. This practice not only helps to alleviate stress and anxiety about the future, but also enables you to savor the simple pleasures of everyday life. Picture yourself sitting beneath an ancient tree, listening to the birds sing, and feeling a gentle breeze on your skin. In such a moment you can be completely absorbed without the distractions of unfinished tasks or distant plans. Have you ever been with a loved one, but found your thoughts drifting elsewhere, causing you to miss the precious moment at hand? Consider how often you've missed out on simple joys because your mind was preoccupied with other concerns, by living fully in the present, we not only enhance our own lives but also bring peace and happiness to those around us. To cultivate this mindset, ask yourself, what is happening right now and how can I fully appreciate this moment? These questions will help you stay grounded in the present, reduce distractions and foster a deeper connection with the world around you. Make it a daily practice, whether you're eating, working or simply breathing, Paying attention to every small action will help you recognize the value of each moment. Start by dedicating a few minutes each day to meditation, calming your mind and reconnecting with yourself. Let go of worries and pressures and learn to cherish each present moment. Number two, understand the impermanence of life. Life is in a constant state of flux and change is the only true constant. As the philosopher Heraclitus once said, no man ever steps in the same river twice, for it's not the same river and he's not the same man, emphasizing the continuous transformation of everything around us. In our daily lives, we often find ourselves clinging to stability, hoping that things will remain the same. But can we truly resist the natural flow of time and change? Impermanence is not just a philosophical idea, it's an unavoidable reality of life. Reflect on the times you've tried to hold on to a positive emotion or escape a negative one. 
Have you noticed that all emotions, whether joy or sorrow, eventually pass? Understanding this can help us appreciate the present moments more fully and prevent us from being overwhelmed by anxiety or disappointment. A tangible example of life's impermanence is the changing of the seasons. Spring ushers in new life, summer is brimming with energy, autumn is gentle and romantic, and winter, though cold, prepares the way for another spring. Similarly, our lives go through their own cycles. Everything changes, and it's this very change that brings balance and richness to life. By understanding and accepting impermanence, we become more patient and resilient in any situation. When faced with difficulties, instead of succumbing to worry and panic, we can remind ourselves that this is just a part of the journey, and it will pass. This mindset allows us to focus on what we can control and to do our best in each moment. Impermanence also teaches us the importance of gratitude. When we recognize that everything can change, we start to appreciate what we have more deeply, even the smallest things in our daily lives. Ask yourself, what can I be grateful for in my life today? The question then becomes, how can we live in harmony with this impermanence? One approach, as suggested by Stoic philosophy, is the practice of acceptance. When we accept that everything happens for a reason and that we cannot control everything, we feel more at ease and at peace. Let's move on to the next lesson to explore this further. Number three, the power of acceptance. Acceptance isn't about resignation or giving up. It's about cultivating the inner strength to approach every situation with calmness and clarity. As Epictetus, one of the great Stoic philosophers, wisely said, we cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. The true power of acceptance lies in this flexibility. Reflect on a time when you faced a challenging situation, perhaps the loss of a job, the end of a relationship, or a serious illness. Our initial reaction is often one of resistance, denial, and a desire to change reality. But have you ever considered what might happen if you stopped resisting and started accepting? Acceptance doesn't mean surrender. It's about recognizing the reality of the situation and finding a wiser way to navigate it. Acceptance doesn't require us to abandon our dreams or stop striving. On the contrary, it enables us to see more clearly what truly matters and realign our goals accordingly. For instance, when a job opportunity falls through instead of dwelling on disappointment, Accept it as part of your journey and keep searching for other opportunities. Acceptance makes us more adaptable and resilient in the face of life's inevitable changes. It brings inner peace by freeing us from the turmoil of negative emotions like anger, anxiety or fear. Have you ever wondered what it might feel like to accept everything as it is, without trying to change or control it? Could this lead to a greater sense of ease and serenity within yourself? Acceptance doesn't make us weak. Instead, it grants us the strength to face every challenge with calm and confidence. It's not a passive act, but a conscious choice to live more fully and peacefully. It's how we harmonize with the flow of life, confronting difficulties and challenges without being dragged into the vortex of dissatisfaction and stress. Challenge yourself to embrace acceptance and you'll see how it can truly transform your life. Number four, learn to let go. Learning to let go is a fundamental principle of Stoic philosophy, which teaches us to live in peace and contentment with life. Letting go doesn't mean giving up everything or becoming passive. It means recognizing and accepting that some things are beyond our control. Imagine holding onto a hot stone tightly. You know that if you continue to grip it, you'll get burned, but if you let it go, you'll feel light and relieved. Life is similar. There are pains and difficulties that we must release in order to find peace. Have you ever questioned why you hold on to sadness, anger, or disappointment? These negative emotions not only cause you harm, but also prevent you from living a happy and meaningful life. Marcus Aurelius once wrote, The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. When we let go of unnecessary burdens, our minds become lighter and freer. This doesn't mean abandoning everything, rather it means being discerning and holding on to what truly matters. 
Letting go is like cleansing the soul, similar to tidying up a room, removing things that no longer serve us, making the space more airy and bright. The act of letting go can be applied to many areas of life, releasing toxic relationships, unrealistic expectations, or worries about the future. You can also let go of past mistakes and learn to forgive yourself. Ask yourself, what is holding me back from living a happy and meaningful life? What can I let go of to make room for better things? Learning to let go is not an easy journey, but it will lead you to true freedom and peace. Remember, letting go is not about giving up, it's about accepting and appreciating what you have. Do you agree with this perspective? If you do, don't hesitate to like the video. If not, share your thoughts in the comments below so we can discuss further. Now let's move on to lesson number five. Number five, practice mindfulness. Mindfulness isn't just about paying attention to what's happening around you. It's about being deeply aware of your own emotions and thoughts without judgment. This practice allows us to live fully in the present, reducing stress and anxiety, and ultimately achieving peace and satisfaction in life. The Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This statement highlights that mindfulness empowers us to control our mind, which is far more important than trying to control external factors that are beyond our reach. Imagine coming home after a stressful day at work, your mind racing with thoughts about work, family and personal responsibilities. Instead of letting these thoughts overwhelm you, take a few moments to sit quietly, breathe deeply and practice mindfulness. Ask yourself, what can I do right now to feel more at peace? Practicing mindfulness not only alleviates stress, but also brings clarity and alertness, allowing you to approach situations with a calm and clear mind. It helps us avoid being swept away by negative emotions and external disruptions. When you encounter difficult situations, ask yourself, can I control this? If the answer is no, learn to accept and let go. As Epictetus wisely said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Mindfulness is not an easy practice and requires patience, but the benefits are profound. You can start with simple exercises like deep breathing, focusing on each breath, and feeling the air enter and leave your body. As you do these exercises, ask yourself, what am I feeling right now? What am I thinking and why? These questions help you become more aware of yourself and your surroundings, freeing you from unnecessary worries about the past or future. We've reached the halfway point of our journey today. Thank you for being here. Your presence shows that you are ready to live more wisely and build a happy and fulfilling life. Please hit the subscribe button and share this video with your loved ones and friends if you find it valuable. Your support is a great motivation for me. Now let's continue our journey. Number six. Use silence effectively. In our modern world, where noise and constant activity surround us, the power of silence is often underestimated. However, to a Stoic philosopher, silence is not merely the absence of speech. It is an art of mastering the mind and emotions. When we embrace silence, we not only become aware of the sounds around us, but also tune into the voice within our soul. It is in these quiet moments that we can gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world. Silence provides clarity and wisdom. Perhaps you've experienced times when silence has helped you find answers to difficult questions or brought peace amidst stress and anxiety. When was the last time you allowed yourself to be truly silent and listened to what your heart had to say? A specific example of the power of silence can be observed in conflict situations. Instead of reacting with anger or impulsive words, silence allows us to step back, assess the situation and respond thoughtfully. As Epictetus wisely said, we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. By listening more than we speak, we create space for understanding and authentic connection. Ask yourself, when was the last time you embraced silence to listen? What insights did you gain from that silence? You might realize that silence is not just about refraining from speech, 
but about accessing the deeper layers of the soul, finding peace and wisdom in every moment of life. Silence, in essence, is the most powerful expression of self-control and understanding. We'd love to hear from you. Have you recently embraced silence to listen to your inner voice? What new insights have you discovered? Share your stories and profound realizations in the comments. Number seven, enjoy the journey, not just the outcome. Stoic philosophy teaches that the true value of life lies not in the achievements or final outcomes, but in the journey we take to reach them. Imagine you are climbing a mountain. The summit is the ultimate goal, but the steps you take along the way are what truly matter. On this journey, you meet new friends, learn from the difficulties and challenges, and appreciate the beauty of the nature around you. If you focus solely on the peak, you will miss out on all these precious experiences. The question is, can you find happiness without reaching the peak, simply by enjoying every moment of the journey? In life, we often become obsessed with achieving results and forget that the process of getting there is where we truly learn and grow. The experiences, challenges and even failures are all valuable lessons. When we fixate on results, we create unnecessary pressure and are easily disappointed when things don't go as planned. But if we learn to enjoy each step, life becomes lighter and more meaningful. So, how can you apply this principle to your daily life? Ask yourself, can you find joy and meaning in your daily tasks, no matter how small? Can you learn to love the process instead of just focusing on the final outcome? When we shift our perspective to enjoy the journey, we discover that life becomes richer and more fulfilling. Enjoying the journey doesn't mean we have no goals or don't care about results. It means we focus on the process, on the daily steps, and on how we live and work. Remember, life is a series of consecutive moments, and each moment is worth cherishing and enjoying. This mindset lays the foundation for our next lesson understanding the value of simplicity. Number eight, find joy in the simplest things. Have you ever wondered why children so easily find joy in the simplest things? A falling leaf, a gentle breeze, or a warm hug from their parents can light up their faces with radiant smiles. With pure hearts unburdened by life's worries, children teach us a valuable lesson about finding joy in the present moment and in the simplest of things. As adults, we often get caught up in the whirlwind of grand goals and relentless ambitions. We chase after luxury, material wealth and power, hoping these will bring happiness. But according to Stoic philosophy, true joy lies in the simplest aspects of life. These small things can bring us peace of mind and contentment. Stoic philosophy encourages us to focus on the present and appreciate what we have. Marcus Aurelius once said, very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. When we stop chasing after distant things and start enjoying each moment, we realize that joy is within our reach. Moreover, finding joy in simple things not only brings happiness to ourselves, but also helps us build better relationships with others. When we appreciate what we have, we become less envious, less comparative, and live more harmoniously with those around us. Take a little time each day to pause, breathe deeply, and seek out the small but meaningful things around you, a good meal, a great book, or simply quiet time with family and friends. Remember, the richest person is not the one who has the most, but the one who needs the least. By learning this, you also learn gratitude. Let's move on to the next lesson. Number nine, the art of gratitude. The art of gratitude is not just about saying thank you when you receive help. It's a state of mind, a way of life. It requires us to pause, reflect, and recognize the good things we often overlook. These small things can bring profound joy and satisfaction if we learn to appreciate them. The philosopher Marcus Aurelius once said, when you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. This advice reminds us that happiness doesn't come from achieving grand things, but from recognizing 
and being grateful for the small, simple things life offers. When you feel stressed or tired, pause and ask yourself, what am I grateful for today? This simple question can help shift your perspective and find joy in the ordinary. A powerful example of the art of gratitude is the story of Viktor Frankl, a psychologist and philosopher who survived the Auschwitz concentration camp. In the harshest of circumstances, Frankl found reasons to be grateful, even for the smallest acts of kindness among prisoners. Gratitude helped him maintain his faith and spirit, allowing him to overcome the most severe trials of life. Think about your own life. What can you find to be grateful for right now? It could be a good friend, a job you love, or simply good health. By cultivating gratitude, you not only find joy in the small things, but also build a stronger and more peaceful soul. Gratitude is not something distant or difficult to achieve. It is within our reach if we just pause, reflect, and appreciate the good things around us. As the teachings of the Stoic philosophers suggest, let gratitude be your guiding principle, leading you to a peaceful and happy life. Number 10. Appreciate solitude. The state of being alone is often viewed negatively, something to be avoided at all costs. However, to the Stoic philosopher, solitude is not an enemy but a close friend, an opportunity to delve deeper into oneself. In moments of solitude, we are free from the noise of the world and the pressures of social expectations, allowing us to listen to our own voice and confront our most authentic thoughts and feelings. Ask yourself, when you are alone, how do you feel? Do you feel empty and insecure, or do you find peace and clarity within your soul? Solitude provides the chance to reflect, reassess our lives, evaluate our values and goals, and discover what truly matters to us. Marcus Aurelius once wrote, Our life is what our thoughts make it. Being alone allows us to improve the quality of our thoughts and consequently enhance the quality of our lives. When we learn to appreciate solitude, we no longer see it as a punishment, but as a precious gift that helps us grow and mature. Take time for yourself and seek out quiet moments in your busy life. Spend an afternoon walking alone, meditating, or simply reading a favorite book. In solitude, you can discover endless inspiration and true peace. Solitude is not an enemy, but a teacher, a friend that helps us find ourselves. By being grateful for solitude, we embrace the opportunity to understand and develop ourselves. Conclusion, embrace effort. Without forcing. In the journey to find happiness and meaning, Many people confuse effort with force. They forget that sometimes letting go is the key to unlocking freedom and peace. Stoicism teaches us that not forcing things to go our way doesn't mean giving up on our dreams or ambitions. It's about learning to live in harmony with nature, ourselves, and life. Take a moment to reflect on your life and realize that not everything needs to be controlled. Spend time enjoying each moment, embracing impermanence, and accepting that some things are beyond your reach. When you stop forcing things and start living naturally, you'll find that everything becomes clearer and easier. Joy and happiness are not destinations but are found in each step you take, in the acceptance and deep understanding of life's essence. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you find this content valuable, don't forget to like the video and share it with those around you. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And if you're looking for a practical and inspiring way to incorporate the principles of Stoicism into your daily life, I recommend The Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday and Stephen Hanselman. This book offers 366 daily meditations based on the teachings of great Stoic philosophers like Seneca, Epictetus, and Marcus Aurelius. The Daily Stoic is perfect for those who wish to apply Stoic reflections to everyday situations. To explore how these timeless lessons can enrich your life, check the link in the description to learn more about this essential book. Let the philosophy of Stoicism guide you to live a full, meaningful and peaceful life. Come back and share your story with us, I'm always here to listen. Remember, don't force anything in your life, let things unfold naturally and find joy in each present moment. See you in the next time.